In this video, we're going to take you through the process of creating new matters. There's a few different places you can go to start this process. You can click the plus sign in the upper right to create new matter. Or if you're in the matter tab, you can also click on this button to create new matter. Once you get into it, you're going to have to associate every matter with a client. Uh, you would begin by typing the name of your client in here. And if you see that they're not in the drop down list, you'll need to add them as a new contact. Uh, every matter has to be created with an existing contact within Matter 365. So it's not enough to add to add somebody because you'll see that the button to save is grayed out because you're not actually choosing a client that's within your system. So if you choose from the drop down list, you'll see that you're able to save it. Uh, responsible attorneys can be that person within your firm that has the main carriage of the file. Uh, they can also be the person who is the matter originating. Uh, but we, for account receivable reporting, we allow you to choose by responsible attorney. So you can uh, choose accordingly. For matter name, uh, we use this to actually create uh, spaces within your office environment. So once the matter name has been created, it cannot be changed and it cannot be edited. So you have to be very careful when you choose the matter name. Uh, further, uh, because when we actually create those spaces, the full matter name is actually going to be the numerical ID hyphen, the client name hyphen, followed by the matter name. So there's no need to repeat the client's name in the matter name itself. Uh, there's also some constraints in terms of uh, characters that you cannot use. Generally speaking, anything above the number signs are forbidden characters, as are slashes, parentheses, question marks, uh, and any punctuation. So you need to be careful when you choose your matter names that you don't use uh, simple terms. If you're going to use verses, uh, you can't have the period next to it. And any time that you want to put something in parentheses, that's not going to work. Uh, we recommend generally that you can use the underscore uh, to use if you want to separate it with uh, if you want to create something uh, in parentheses, you can use underscore. The other required fields that we have are matter type and matter source. Matter type refers to the type of law that you're dealing with. Uh, this is a customizable list and you can check your quick onboarding guide or, or our knowledge base to see how you can quickly and easily edit that list to your firm specifications. The next is matter source. This is referring to where the matter is coming from. Uh, whether it's uh, through a LinkedIn ad or other event that you had or website. Uh, this allows you again to, to sort of track your billables as to where your uh, matters are coming from. And again, this is again a customizable list. Uh, if you don't want to keep track of it, you can just put it as unassigned. For matter description, this is actually a very large space. I think there's 14,000 characters that you can put into this uh, box. So you can keep track of anything else that you want uh, associated with the matter. Uh, depending on what type of law you're dealing with, is the personal injury, you might want to put the date of accident, date of loss, uh, limitation periods, any of that sort of information uh, that you want to keep it associated and uh, available uh, quickly when you uh, are reviewing a matter. For owners and members, this refers to the people within your firm that are going to need access to the matter. If somebody is not an owner or a member, they won't see the matter in their Matter 365, nor will they be, have access to the underlying spaces within uh, your office applications where we're actually storing the matter data. So it's important that you list everybody properly who's going to be a member. In order to add members, you quickly just click on Member, Add from the list, and then close it, and you can see that they're added. For guests, this is inviting outside people from outside your firm to the matter. Uh, you should be very careful, however, because they will be invited to all of the underlying spaces within your Microsoft Office environment. Um, so it's generally not recommended that you invite people who you do not want to have complete access to everything. We also have the ability to have related contacts. So if you wanted to uh, Put associated people in and saying who the client is, uh, perhaps witnesses to the uh, to the accident uh, or the loss. You can put those in as related contacts. Again, this list that you're going to generate in terms of the type of related contacts is also customizable. Uh, you can add them now or you can add them later after the matter has been created. But once everything is done, 
Again, check to make sure the matter name is correct because it cannot be edited uh, once it's been uh, done and make sure that you list the proper owners and members who will have access to it. And when you're ready to go, you hit save and then the matter gets created. Anytime the matter has been created and you want to make any changes to it, uh, you just go to the matter settings and click edit. If you want to change the contact cards, you click on the edit here. You can add more contacts or you can also delete it. You can see here that the main client contact cannot be changed. Uh, any edits you want to make to the description, the status, the matter type or matter source can be made here. And again, you can see that the matter name cannot be edited. Uh, you can edit the members here and you can also set their billable uh, rates. The owner and responsible attorney is the only person who is going to be able to add and delete members. If you're simply a member to a matter, all you're going to be able to do is adjust your own billable hour rate, uh, but you cannot add or remove members. That's only for the, res uh, for the owner to do. Uh, and then again, you have the ability to add guests here as well. And that is matter creation. Uh, if you have any questions about matters and editing, you can find them in our knowledge base, which is always here on our bottom left hand side. Um, and if you have any questions and need some help from our support, you click on the support tab. We have live email and chat support between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have links in our support page to your knowledge base, so you can actually search to find the things that you might be looking for. Thank you very much and have a great day.